For the past 42 years, Manhattan College and the College of Mount St. Vincent have worked together in a seemingly perfect harmony. Many believe the relationship was sure to last, and any rumors of a split have been disregarded. So it came as a surprise in September 2006 when both schools agreed to separate. During these past five years, the schools have strategically, in terms of uh, always being autonomous for the most part, uh, and facing different uh, challenges, different opportunities, different needs, have through no direct intention, but have uh, followed paths which have proved to be divergent. Uh, I understand that there's a lot of things that are involved in it, and I think a lot of it has to do with the personalities of the administrators, that sometimes they just are not able to work together, mm -hmm. and uh, it, that's what's the sad thing. And we also heard from uh, many of you the long-term known inconvenience uh, of taking the bus and, uh, and taking courses up at the mount. And the same obviously was true for uh, their students, taking the bus and coming to Manhattan to take uh, courses. Well, I think a lot of students have been very, very sad. A lot of Manhattan students uh, have written us, even the alumni, and they said they may hire uh, uh, new people, they may have nice facilities, but they won't have the same faculty. A lot of the faculty here have been here a long time. My understanding is that Manhattan is not going to send any freshmen over here for classes. The sophomores, juniors, and seniors will be here, but not the freshmen. Our plans for communications will, will be the following. We will be advertising for, and because of the program is not ours, we're starting from scratch. We have to find the faculty, we have to design the curriculum, we have to find the facilities. Both schools said that they would complete whatever the program was that the student began. So they will, you know, so that's really. By fall of 2008, the plan is, the goal is to have an independent running communications department here in Manhattan. Fall 2008. We hope to begin uh, preparing with, with the chair's input uh, facilities for communications, especially the TV studio. And you, you, you who are communications majors probably know the technical term for that. We've located space on the preliminary basis in Leo Engineering that we think would be ideally suited for a state-of-the-art television studio. So I think that the Manhattan College freshman class is going to be much smaller next year. Right, right now, communication is the largest undergraduate major at Manhattan yeah, College, that's and that's every that's business and engineering and everything. But I think next year it'll be much smaller because I think students are going to say, "Well, why would I come if I don't know what the facilities are going to be, who the faculty is going to be?" Biology students will see very significant changes in location. All of the biology labs that you now take at the Mount will certainly have to come back now to Manhattan campus. That will happen over the next two years. Over the academic year 0708, uh, and then by the end of academic year 08, we should be all down here on this campus with the labs. circulating, I guess that's how it first started. Yeah, because Dr. Flynn had um, briefly touched upon it during an information meeting that he held um, to tell about this Manhattan and Mount split. Mm -hmm. So that's when he um, first kind of spoke about it. Okay. I think overall, Dr. Flynn has the attitude that he's ready to move on from it yeah. and help the Mount grow. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure the event itself did cause tension yeah. between the two administrations, but not so much now. It yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I think they've 
on both sides they've moved on okay. it complicated the ad- relationship between the administrators between the presidents and the board of trustees that's basically it yeah. It was about the $750,000 that was owed to uh, the Mount by Manhattan College. He told me that it wasn't true, in Manhattan's standpoint at least, that uh, the Mount thought one way and uh, Manhattan thought the other. That's why they settled that $350,000. But what he told me is that the liberal learning classes at Manhattan are counted in a different way than the other department classes and so therefore the books kind of got screwed up with how much money each college was owed and that's uh, where the discrepancy came from. The provost told me that uh, there was no tension and that uh, he gets along very well with Dr. Flynn so in the Mount article it said that uh, Dr. Flynn believed it was ancient history the whole the whole thing and um, I, I don't know why he would have brought it up just now if uh, he truly felt that way I really I'm so I'm very 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 sad I'm very sad because I think this program has been terrific for us in communication it's been great half of our students are Manhattan students They work together. I haven't found any problem with it. And we built up this great Mm -hmm. department. We have this great building. Uh, I was just very, very sad. I couldn't believe it was happening after 42, 44 years. 